Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to level up insanely fast in the game of Star Ocean The Divine Force. Now this is for beginners for who are in chapter 2 to chapter 3. However, if you're further in the game, this can also help you as well. Starting off with my gear, I have the blade known as Sturdy Colbrand plus 1. This blade doesn't have any enchantments you'll need, so you can just skip it and choose your own blade. Next we have the armor called Wing Mail, which you can get at any beginning city. Which is modified with the following enchantments as well. If you don't know how to enchant, I'll be showing you guys later in the video. But moving on to the accessories. The Power Wing plus 4 also has the following enchantments, which is all EXP boosting enchantments. Now notice when you're crafting or making new gear, you'll notice that the EXP gained in battle and EXP gained after you hit a certain combo. Don't choose the combo ones, only choose the ones gained in the battle. Now moving on to the Guardian Ring plus 3, which only has 2 EXP boosters and 1 other enchantment. But you don't have to worry about that since I was going to use only those 6 EXP boosting enchantments. But anyways, now I'll be showing you this build in action. As you can see, I'm just leveling up with almost each opponent giving me 40 to 50,000 EXP. Also, before I forget, make sure you get the passive skill Determined Princess for the T. As you can see, I leveled up to level 110 from level 58 after being just a few 
minions within three minutes. Note, however, that bosses will give you at least 200,000 EXP, and this is depending on the boss. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can get that equipment early on. First, you need to complete the Wretch Quest series, which I'm showing you right now, to get all the item creation options. But you'll only need the creation options known as crafting and synthesis. Next, you'll need all the gold you can get and at least 20,000 full or the money in the game. You'll also want a level 10 Leticia and a level 10 Makia, which if you don't know these characters, Leticia is the princess you get in the beginning of the game. And Makia is the queen of Nilbit. The Leticia should be only used for crafting, and Makia should be used for synthesis. But before you start crafting your gear and all that, you, I want you to save your game first because if you run out of equipment or materials and money, you can't. It'll take too long to go back and forth. So I suggest saving your game, and when you run out of materials and money and you don't have any EXP booster enchantments yet, you can just reload your game and then keep crafting until you find an EXP gain battle factor. Like the one I'm showing you right now. After you get one, save your game again. Because if you run out of materials after you get that specific one and reload your game, you also lose the EXP gained accessory. Now, after you get at least four of these EXP gained in battle factors, which is the enchantments on the bottom right, you want to move on to synthesis, which you'll be using Machia for. Now, for people who don't know synthesis yet, it allows you to fuse the factors or enchantments into one main accessory. And the best thing about this is you can lock the ones you want, but only two of them. If you want more than two factors, then I suggest you save your game first and then fuse it with another accessory you want, which has a factor you want. And keep fusing it, and if you fail, then just reload your game. You don't have to worry about that. And just keep on doing it until you get the enchantments you want. Now, as you're crafting, you're going to notice that there are a couple of factors in each craft. You'll only want the EXP gained in battle, and then the armor factors you want is the ones you'll see that says something percentage accessory factors effect. These will kind of increase the amount of EXP, which is already increasing by the factors of your accessories, and multiplying it over and over and stacking giving you 40,000 EXP for something that will only give you like a thousand without the equipment. Now, the ores I used for this is previously stated in the video, gold ores. You'll only need these because later in the game you get like five star materials that help you get better EXP gained in battle factors. However, for now you just want to use gold ores. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, and please subscribe and hit the like button. Have a nice day.